Man that I'm married with so much money. Huh? My husband, I'm here. You are here doing what? Huh? I mean, after paying 24 naira being your bride price, you don't deem it necessary to serve me breakfast this morning. Huh? I told hey. you. Mm. Stop thinking and do what I married you to do. Mm. Oh, never. Yeah, me? When did you become my thinking faculty? I said, I said, I said, I said, what's wrong with you? I'm sorry, my husband, but this Gary is meant for the family. You must learn not to think when it comes to the issue of my food. One I will throw you into this fire after beating you. Good year. Thereafter, I will confront your father Boom. and demand the bad price I paid on your head. My husband, I saved your food by your bedside according to your standing order this morning. I saved this calabash of palm along with it. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. You mean I saw the palm wine, but I didn't see the food? I don't know. Now, I, would you by any chance be inferring that I woke up drunk? And blind? How can I infer such a thing? It is obviously my fault that the food was invisible. Let me go in and fetch the food before you go late for the elders can soon. Ah, hey, hey, hey. You see? You see what I've done to myself? Because I didn't take enough palm wine this morning, I completely forgot about the council meeting. Ego. Ego. No more go be ego. You have any me here, sir? No more go be ego. No more go be ego. We have any me here, sir? No more go be ego. We have any me here, sir? No more go be ego. We have any me here, sir? No more go be ego. We have any me here, sir? 
kingdom where a woman is truly and completely sub submissive to her husband. May God bless Yes. Iriosa. That is my seat you are sitting on. <laughs> what immorality this is. Mudia, where my to tell What impudence! Look, for how long are we going to accommodate this degree of licentiousness? First, it is bad enough that you you arrive this meeting late. And I think it is unpardonable for you to ask Obasuji to vacate his seat for you. And look, Ekwanye, Uma! I thank God that you are not your way. Neither was I even talking to you. Uh, come here. No one but Owili have a, a permanent seat in this council. What is it that you want? It is my seat that I want. And I don't know how that concerns you. It's a quiver, Hey! Good morning! Are you Shut up your mouth! Don't allow your teeth to fry out of your mouth. Meme, where? You're a stupid man. Myself. Yes, you self. Equal again, myself. Who else? Who else? What are you talking about? Sit down. Look, my friend. This. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. This is so discreet. Mudia. Mere. You have one more to intimidate me. You can't intimidate me, any coca. You hear me? You think I belong to that? That unprogressive village of yours? In fact, you are a stupid man. Goodbye. Equality. Who are you? <laughs> what are you? Equality. Which are you? When are you? I'm a fool. I'm a fool. No. Eh. Yes, you're going to go. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Don't mind him. Is it not my seat that he wants? And let him have it. How do we have a house? I don't have a house. I don't have a house. When reasonable men are talking, you, Oyegwe, from that stupid lineage, we'll be opening your mouth. Who is from a stupid lineage? Some pathological oh, drug yeah, from, a, you, from a generation of oh, my, social miscreants? It's all right. It's you right. call me hey, stupid? Okay. Just yes, down. you boy, you are. All right. It's all right. <laughs> my friend, you are not only stupid, you also ask stupid questions. You hear me? Okay. Does the way look stupid to you? Who I say I look stupid to you? Who? In fact, you are very stupid. He has no point. You are only you. Say, say, I. Hmm. Abbasi, may our ancestors reward your large heart. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Talk way. My dear elders of Ikoka. Oh, we got to talk way. Yes, sir. Once again, I welcome you to today's meeting of the elders. Let's see. This indeed is the most crucial gathering of the upper chamber of our elders council in our time. We are talking. Okay. Yes, sir. Look, Akwenje, where will you imbibe the rules of proceedings in this council? What rules? That when Owe speaks, he must be heard in silence. Did you find it 
difficult to comprehend that? The much I know is that even in heaven, elders do not converge without palm wine as introductory thing before proceedings. Mm -hmm. Even the way is not ignorant of my policy of no palm wine, no discussion. Mm -hmm. How can you allow power to take over your good sense of judgment? Eh? Of what relevance is power to this crucial discussion we are holding? If you do not know the relevance of palm wine to every gathering, then please rely on my good sense of judgment. I pray we need to continue and ignore this drunk. Hey! He will not continue with his speech huh? until colonels and palm wine are served. Just like everyone here in Ikoka will do, should you ever visit this household. Mm -hmm. Now listen to me. Uh -huh. These two items will be used for prayers to our gods and ancestors that they may grant us direction in our deliberations. Hey, <laughs> Mafido, you called me drunk. <laughs> you will not touch that palm wine. Talk less of tasting the palm wine when it is finally ushered in. You lied. Finally, Imafiron, you are a very stupid man for calling me drunk. Me? Where? Myself. Who is a stupid man? Oh, God. Oh, yeah. What is wrong? Hey, 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 Leave him. So you see. Say I hey, Imafido. Hey, guys of Ikoka. This commotion is enough. Let everyone take a seat for proceedings to continue. The level of senility is getting too high. Is he I? Uh, I thank you all for taking this meeting most seriously. A is an elder in this council. Yes. <laughs> and not a drunk. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> His contribution so far has been most reasonable. Yes. It is indeed a very wrong reaction for him to refer to Imafido as stupid. No, I, I said it. very stupid. Eh? stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, we shall truly seek the face and direction from our gods and ancestors before the proceedings will continue. Um Alright. I don't want to buy one. I don't want to buy one. Where is it? I'll some drinks. And call and ask for prayers. Oh, okay. yes. Bring the drinks first. Granu can come later. My name is Yeda. Sorry, no, sir. Sir, 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 We must not drink and forget that we bear a very heavy burden in our hearts. That is true. The burden that has reduced the dignity of the province of Ikoka. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. From when I was a child, no man of substance has ever emerged from this land. Mm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> a man born of this province has never actualized a dream in terms of affluence and status dignity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our women of this province 
have become symbols of wealth and affluence. If they do not provide, we cannot sustain. We must get to the root of this in our generation. It is most imperative that we must leave a better path for our children. Elders of Ikoka, Adiawe is truly a leader and very thoughtful. Hmm. When a snake uses its sting, it becomes an ordinary drop in the hands of children. Men of Ikoka have become subjects to their wives. I, Oyegwe, I am very worried, though. I agree with you. Yes, I agree with you. You are very right. Okay. The way is truly a leader and very thoughtful. Yes. But you are truly a follower, yet most thoughtless. <laughs> ah, your great grandfather was a subject to his wife. <laughs> so also was his own son, that is your own grandfather. Exactly. Your own father also took the same path. Now that it is your turn, you are beginning to get worried. <laughs> <laughs> was it not your grandfather? Who postulated that adage that there's nothing wrong with a man seeing a snake and the woman killing the snake? Mommy, why did it take your lineage three generations to begin to worry? Mm -hmm. I think we should just consult uh, uh, Oracle to find out if the woman of the Coca have hand in this matter. Uh, mm. In your next world, you will also be this stupid. Huh? Oh, yes, oh. <laughs> okay. Tell him if you want to leave our women alone. Only men. Is it because you don't have a wife at home that our women have become witches in your, in your sight? Okay. No, no, no. Man. Can you yeah. say this to them face to face? You can't even help with They will eat you. Know you. Mm. They will eat like worms. You are stupid. Yes, yes, yes. I'm okay. finished. Okay. 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 We don't need an oracle to tell us what is wrong with our land. <laughs> if you, reasonable citizens, don't know, I, a reasonable drunk of Ikoka, should be consulted. <laughs> 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 reasonable drunk. <laughs> What is it that you know? That you keep insulting the elders of Ikoka. Ask him. If you will, we will now join in my and calling me a drunk. That I think it's time I should go home to my palace. Ask my wife. I am Lord and Master there. I say that I know the source and the solution to your problems, and all I get from you is antagonism. Ipa, is it not you in your wisdom that posited that for one class fiction? It means therefore that the man who takes the most of it. Has a clearer vision. Mm. Hey, we should give a chance to equipment yeah, to show us what uh, we cannot see. And uh, not before I'm offered more pan wine. I pay away to let him have some more. Where is your top? Oh, oh, yeah. So go sir. Oh, sir. Oh, sir. Sir. Oh, sir. Oh, sir. Oh, sir. Oh, sir. I saw it a long time ago that you and I became friends. <laughs> Elders of this province. I was a very little child when my grandfather let me into this history. 
Whenever I sleep, I commune with my gods mm. to ask them <laughs> if my grandfather told me a true story. And when my gods confirmed it, they want me not to say it to anybody. So, today, I'm making a sacrifice for Ikoka. Mm. The motherland of Obai Waikwe, who ruled over the kingdom of Benin between the years 1700 and 1711, after the death of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who came to this world to die for you and I. Good <laughs> 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 then have some more power mind. Mm. Oh, didn't you hear or pass you say that it's also good for the eyes? Eh, come here. Eh, come here, no In 1705, Opa A. Waikwe had made it abundantly clear that he was not going to take nonsense from his subjects. Who had consistently defied the culture and heritage of the land. They looked upon him as a vicious and cruel king. He had executioners around him who dare not challenge his orders. His mother warned him not to chastise the Benis. When he would not listen, his mother advised him never to turn his back against his motherland. The mother of Obai Wagwe, the Iyoba, was a woman of great valor who brought dignity to this province. Yes, she was from this same land on which we are sitting now. By then, Ikoka, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ikoka was great and mighty. <laughs> My dear people of Ikoka, it is unusual for a meeting like this to be summoned where we are forbidden to cook or eat before converging. What's got to me that the moon of our daughter, Ewe Bonoza, has fallen? <laughs> No one comes to the world without going back. Okay. Now that it has happened, what do we do? <laughs> Let everyone go home and continue with this fast for seven days. <laughs> Let the market place remain deserted for this period. At the end of the seventh day, Oyegwe shall lead Imadi and Okumedia to the palace in Benin to help in all funeral arrangements as custom demand. Accordingly, I shall continue with the fast till the 14th day. At the end of which, I shall pay the appropriate visit to His Majesty. 
during this period, I shall see no one uh, except the priests of our various deities. Every son and daughter of Ikoka and even the spirits of our forefathers shall appropriately mourn this fallen star. So if no one we always talk Forgive me if I sound unreasonable at this time. Why am I left out of important assignment like this? Huh? I am the only surviving son of Ewe Bonoza's paternal family. It is my place to represent my family in the funeral. You may go with them. What Let all people of goodwill man. This president's jewel of our time. A weapon was that. Why hast thou forsaken us? Why have the gods not given us the chance to appease them for your life's sake? Mother of this great land of our forefathers, why have you brought darkness upon our path? Death, oh death, why did you not direct your sting at me instead of <laughs> me? <laughs> Death! Oh, death! What have you done? What have you done? is it? I was told that you asked to be nominated for the journey. It is my right. Most of all, it is an honor. Why should I be excluded? Please, my lord. Please. Allow those nominated to go for the journey. Eh? My lord. Stay at home with me and the children, please. What kind of licentious talk is, is, is that? My lord, I'm worried. Worried about what? 
my dream last night. But you are supposed to be keeping vigil. I'm not sleeping. I know, my lord. I know. But in that dream, there was unprecedented wind that blew across our land. It was breezy and dusty. But when the wind subsided, behold, peacock and land lost three significant trees along with it. Meaning what? I am not too sure what my dream connotes, but I believe that the journey is risky, my lord. Since when has burial ceremonies become subject of nightmare? Do I look like a woman to you? No, my lord. Then keep your dreams to yourself and let men like me go and defend the rest of oh, my lord. Me. Let me go and defend the rest of the coca. On her journey to the land of the spirits. Who are you and what brings you to my palace? Your Majesty, we are from the province of Ikoka, the homeland of the departed Yoba. We heard of what happened, and the elders of Ikoka delegated us to come among with you. Yes. We are also instructed to help with all the barrier arrangements at your instance. The away of our province sends his condolence. Mm. He is also very pained by the sudden transition of the pride of Ikoka. Mm. He's mourning back home. He will see his majesty at the appropriate time, yes. as custom demands. Exactly. Mm. Mm. So, so you already know of the demise of the Yoba. <laughs> and yet, you spot white. 
to mourn a woman who had so much compassion for your province when she was alive. Where in our custom do we mourn the dead in white? My executioners! Executioners! Your Highness! Kill them! Then tell them what your eyes have seen. Take it away! almost caught to. Eh? What would I have told my ancestors? What would I have told my ancestors? Hmm. Mm -hmm. What, what troubles this guy that it does not cease to shed tears? The over does not cease surprise me. The hand that tries to kill a man is never that of a friend. Osama, have you lost your voice? Yes, yeah, sir. I'm short of words. The heat of death is most felt when you go too close to his gates. The deal. But has the palace now become the passageway to the spirit world? A bad woman. I am scared, yes. Sir. What is a soul? Loses his sweetness. Hello. Of what value is the moon to the children when an angry libel keeps roaming the streets every evening? When, when, when the head of the tiger is removed from the body. Is it not as harmless as the shadow of a tree? No, no, no. no, no. Jeez. The Oba has chastised us. Enough. Yes! He has chastised us. Enough! The captain of death roars. And the little child says the rain is screaming. If the waves do scream, why is that? in the world mute. But I tell you, I still think enough is enough. Did I hear you right? I think you did. <clears throat> yes, sir. What do you plan to do about this situation? Abana talk me. He said, what about his royal majesty? As his queens. I want us to pray him to reduce his high handedness. I think the Royal Majesty is too hard on the subject. That is true. That is true. You are very, very observant. I thought of facing it. But I was scared. Shut up your mouth. Mm -hmm. Look, this is not a song for children. You cannot cry more than the bereaved, can you? Hell. Don't forget that our parents are part of his mm -hmm. I know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What happens to the goats? May also affect the child. That, that is not the, the issue. It is yeah. not the issue at all. <coughs> Go back here. 
Come back here. What do you mean by that? It has no definite meaning. Hey! 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 Present here are high chiefs of our kingdom, members of the lower and higher chambers of our ruling houses, group leaders, and our great warriors. We are all living witnesses of the ordeals that we have suffered in the hands of our other. Nay, That man has chastised us enough. It is therefore resolved that henceforth we shall take our destiny in our own hands and chart a course of tolerance and mutual and peaceful coexistence amongst our people. The man has turned the palace into a gate that leads to the spirit world. He has turned the sky into a place where endless tears are shed. The man has violated our tolerance, our pride as a people, and our strength as a kingdom. And we say, Enough is enough. Enough. Enough is enough of you, yes, sir. Yeah. Enough is enough. Stop insulting the very fabrics of our heritage. Oh, How did you lose your sanity? Hmm? That you not talk of the other without restraint. The gods are vicious in the protection of the one they have chosen. Even the ears are blessing are not spared. Will you sit down and shut up your mouth? Sit down! How dare you talk to me with such rudeness? What viciousness can proceed from the gods that cannot contain their chosen one? He has said, you did not choose a weapon for the gods, and so you cannot remove it in obedience to the gods. We do not seek his remover. Then you serve him and leave his guilt to the gods if there is any. The gods do not compel us to serve anybody. We shall desert him and leave him miserable unto death. Our ancestors shall judge you fairly for your chances against the crown. Oh! This is the ancient kingdom of Benin. A kingdom where the gods are awake even at night. I wash my hands and I dust my ears clean of your blasphemous words against the crown. Yes, I will see. You may go if you wish. This is the year 1705. And no one can take us back into the dark days of tyranny. Wow! Hey, sir. Yes, sir. We have words that the king will be leaving for Uselu today to offer prayers at his mother's tomb. Mm. While he's away, you shall take the youths and go from the back door of the palace into the inner chambers. Anything that you see on your way that is valuable, you shall take. Then you shall proceed inside, take the wives, the servants, and don't forget the children. Yes, yeah, sir. Talk to you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Man. You shall go also from the other side into the inner chambers. Take anybody that is on your way. Uh, yes, yeah, sir. Of all these arrangements, which one will you handle? Stop talking like a child. I shall proceed through the inner chambers of the other to the meeting chambers where I shall take care of anybody that is avoiding your arrest. Animal. 
when you are through, you shall come from the private entrance of the Abbas Palace and meet me at the meeting chambers. A supper shall take the hostages to the point of rendezvous. No one, and I mean no one, shall be spared. Of Ikoka sent you along with three 
orders to the palace in Benin on a funeral mission. You have come back to us alone and without one of your legs. What, what animal devoured you like this? Tell us what your eyes have seen. I promise I will survive. Yes, I survived. Have you also been made mad by the animal that devoured you? Where are the others? The others. <laughs> I have seen the gates of hell. Now I speak amongst the living. Baby, you only have. Yes, I must be mad. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. Ikoka have men of proven bravery as hunters. Ah. Tell us where you come across this wild animal before it finds its way into our province. <laughs> animals. Yeah. Animals. This wild animal is in the palace of the king. Oba. Oba I hope the king is safe. Very well. Very well. The king is safe. Except that the, the sky above his palace has suddenly turned red under the heat of the full moon. He has killed the others. Oh. Oh. He ordered at my right foot. Be amputated. Yes, oh, he instructs me to tell Ikoka that my eyes have seen. What? You mean His Highness did this to you? What did you do to provoke him? Provoke him? All we did. Well, what is that's all? Oh, uh -huh. uh -huh. just like that. Uh, but it is an abomination to wear black clothes to it, the palace. It is, you know. uh -huh. yeah, uh -huh. Wait a moment. <laughs> you mean somebody did this to my father because he puts on white clothes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Child, hold your breath. Children don't fish in troubled waters. But we are ready to fight for Ikoka! Yes! What you cannot see standing on top of that tree, I can view in full, seated here. <sighs> Take your father home and get all the great herbal doctors in the land to attend to him. Oyegwe must not die! <laughs> Elders of Ikoka. The corpse of a great warrior must of necessity be carried through the streets of a lazy man. Many great warriors die before their time. Ikoka shall choose to be lazy on this day. We know we are commoners, but we must be wise. But what wisdom is there in the province that cannot ask questions concerning her slain citizen? He who challenges the wisdom of a solemn man 
put patience to task. Yes, away. Let's mourn our dead solemnly and patiently await the repose of her soul. <laughs> Be careful, children. Don't touch yourselves. No, I will give it to you. Thank you. Which of these children is yours? Ask her. Please give them a chance to play. Children's keeper. I'm Favored ones. <laughs> Excuse me. When did I become your footmat? That you talk to me with so much recklessness. Insult upon injury. Hmm. Who does she think she is? Who are you in this harem? Hmm. Now I know you are empty upstairs. Tell her. Look at me. Just look at me. Oh, my <laughs> Don't I look like a queen to you? Okay. Or you think I'm from such a poverty infested home like you? <laughs> Goodness me. May this your mouth. Whoa, 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 Why this commotion? She was keep quiet. Mm -hmm. mm. Esa. Ah, don't move. 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 do to be a safe John. I think you've all heard His Majesty. If that warning is not enough, you may continue your fight. Fighting is not Keep quiet. Go and get me the maracas so that we sing praises to our God for our husband's safe return. Eh, son, my dad, 
Voici Bajé. Let them continue to fight. They don't duly favor you. I don't know their stress.
That you dare to defy the palace and sacred possessions of Baiwa. Woman, watch your tongue before it offends the surrounding teeth. Today, we, the people of this land, have decided to take our destiny in our hands. What? What destiny of a people can be actualized with such disrespect for leadership as you show? You talk like an idiot. Who is an idiot? A person who is mentally in balance from death, just as you have shown. You dare call the Iyase of our land an idiot? Anyone who dares about a work there is an idiot. It would have been better if it was not conceived. The words in your mouth are getting too noisy. Mm. Because you dare to defy Ide, the beauty queen of great Ewakbe, by touching me with your filthy hands. Knowing that my lord traveled, he brought war upon his household. Coward. You call me coward? He has said, what? We are done. What with this woman? He has said, why waste your anger on the dead? If she chooses to stay, it is her fate to suffer. Let us hurry away from here before you come from our side. Hey son, this is not fate, but courage of a lawyer wife. Mm. <laughs> courage. Mm. Courage that drives to a worthless fate. A fate that brings the high and the mighty to a bottomless pit. That crazy dog is not for my husband. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In that case, we shall leave you to tread the path of your destiny. No, no, no. But tell you what. No, 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 no. Oba Ewakbe. I'm not just Ewakbe as you called him. Well. Just tell him that his time is up. Come, come, come. come. Ibn, the king is ordained in heaven. My husband is ordained king by our gods and ancestors. A king is a man. When the wind blows, the inner of the chicken is seen. Let's go. <laughs>
of the mutiny to Selu and rushed home. But when he saw that the lions had overtaken the streets at moonlight, he went back and hid in the forest and watched helplessly as his subjects took their destiny into their hands. It became apparent to him that power lies in the hands of the people. <laughs> After this great event, the lions went to sleep. Mm -hmm. While Obai Wipe made bold to regain his power. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Iyase and his allies were in a comfort on how to nail the coffin. Mm -hmm. But Okaviobe. 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 Yes. Mm -hmm. The traditional minister for information, mm -hmm. lands and survey would not allow them to switch deliberation. Disappeared, leaving darkness upon her heart. I want to get it done. Why, Jay? I can't do my own command. I want to man. of the desert. What can I stop the company of the wind? What great disaster. I work by will set me thinking. Now I come to the world to become king in a land. Here a king is born and not made. But what manner of life has the dawn of the day brought upon me? It, the, the beauty queen of great era. No, come on. Huh? This is inconceivable. What 
has come over you that you speak to yourself. I hope all is well. The song of a lonely woman is usually one of you. Forgive me, my lord, if I sound the same. How was your visit to see? The calmness is the beauty of your courage. It was at Oselu that uh, word reached me. I know the sky is troubled, but how much of his tears that have touched the surface of the earth? Oh, Majesty. Why you were aware to say you? He has said, Led a song, a song. The youths and warriors here they took everybody and almost everything of value. They rebelled against your enemies. Rebelled against me. Is this why my palace is like a desert? What about my executioners? They took everyone. And why are you still here? I resisted, my lord. They had to live without me. Mm -hmm. Yes, it dares to wrestle with the lion. My lord. I will suggest that you go inside and have your bath. Change to fresh clothes. After you eat some food, we shall then talk about Yasi and how to deal with the situation. It's a long journey from Silo. Woman, the earth quakes and you talk to me about bathing and food and fresh clothing. Don't increase my anger, woman. Please understand my point of view. I know you are a great man of many battles. But in this one, I am the only warrior by your side. So this is a new kind of battle. And it is a battle that must be won. Victory is the son of good planning. To plan positively, we must be of good courage. Fresh body. Filled stomach and of a sound mind. This battle is to win back the loyalty of your rebelling subjects. This is a battle we must begin by beating off the tiredness of your majesty. Your courage as a woman startles me. But what amazes me more is the wisdom of that courage. It goes to remind me of my late mother. Ah, my lord. Who am I to be compared with the Yoba? My lord. Why did you not go with the others? You know I cannot provide for you. In this situation, Do you want to suffer with me, even though I have not been able to comfort you with a child? The pride of the money son, the king of the greatest kingdom in the whole world. Please do not weaken your spirit by asking too many questions. Best climb the tree that the tiger has climbed. The cry of a child brings joy to a woman. That I am not comforted with one does not take away my love and loyalty to my husband. Please, my lord, let me fetch you some water to bathe.
like the struggling goat is about to give up the ghost. And the dangerous grass is spreading across the white path. I, 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 I don't understand your thinking, mother. <laughs> what a child. Obazola the Great promised a you will marriage and she became his queen. When he also promised her death, her time suddenly ended. But who dares to promise the, the, the king's mother an untimely death? Comfort yourself, my son, and listen to me. When God calls, the heavens and the earthquakes, no man, no man, can dictate for God. Let me leave you with that token with which you always recall my words in time to come. Mother, I am completely lost. When were you crowned king over this kingdom? Two years. 1780. That was the year you got the name Ewakwe. Soon after the Ugiso dynasty, every crowned king had two names. The one given to them at birth and the one they got as king. But yours, my son, yours was different. You mean I had more than two names? That is correct. Ewakwe was your third. When I gave birth to you, your grandfather, Barogene the Great, named you Idova. Soon after, your old father saw that the name Idova would usher in anarchy. It's prophesied by Obaiwari the Great at that time. Why did he give me such a name? Your destiny, my son. Your destiny revealed how your life would turn out. This prompted your father, Akenuzama, to change your name, thinking it will also change your destiny. He now named you Eheniga. That is the name you answered till you were crowned. King. But my son, it was not your place to be crowned king. Your own father, Kenuzama, the first son of Obawa, Urogene the Great, was the next to be crowned king. But as a man of compassion, he declined the crown on account of old age, knowing that you may not succeed him. Why not? I was his first son. <laughs> My son, succession is not purely by hereditary. His brothers stood a better chance. So, he blessed you with a crown. <laughs> blessed me with a crown? He was said to have died in his sleep before his coronation. He had to give unto Caesar what belonged to Caesar. Because a son cannot be king over the father in our kingdom. That part is buried in mystery. <sighs> this brought you to the throne faster than your destiny. That made 
a prophecy come true. Now, my son, the tiger is becoming helpless. Mother, please make your words plain. Should all precautions fail, my son, and the prophecy of Obai while the great crystallizes, go to my motherland, Ikoka. Ikoka? <laughs> what brings Ikoka into these discussions? <laughs> you wouldn't understand. <laughs> Ikoka is my place of birth. It was at that province. My father named me Iwe Bonoza. Iwe Bonoza. Most likely, when I'm coming back into this world, I will pass through that land. My endless pride. Stop chastising your subjects. And don't forget to go to Ikoka should the prophecy of Obaiwari the Great come true. All right, mother. All right. That's enough, mother. I think you should rest. Um, enough. You should have some rest. I'm going back to my palace and I'll come back and see you in a, in a fortnight. Now remember... beside me in this battle. Right now, I am deeply worried. What troubles my lord so deeply? It's only early in the morning. Many months have passed since darkness besieged our royal path. And the road is getting narrower by the day. What exactly is on the mind of His Majesty? I have checked the yam ban and all the other food items. We only have few left. Does Oba Ewakwe become a farmer? You are king so long as you have a subject in me. If it comes to farming, I, Ide, your subject shall do that for you. The food we have left will last us for three days. Besides, I have some of my clothes that I can sell to sustain us for you. It, uh, oh, you show me kindness and you courageously give me hope in the face of hopelessness. You cause me to dream the undreamable while at the same time reminding me constantly that I am king. You propose to sell your clothes so that the boat does not sink. All this make me worry even more. I have decided to grant you freedom so that you can seek your destiny elsewhere. I will go to Ikoka. 
the land of my beloved mother to seek for some help for the palace. Went from the cluster. They get harvested together. Should my lord feel indebted to me and wish to pay for my loyalty, my price shall be to let me stay with you till the end. Nothing else will make me happy. Obey! Oh, my queen of all seasons, you are a warrior in your own right. And I can see that you are determined to see this to its end. What else should a woman desire, my lord? <laughs> what else indeed? Very well. Prepare my sub bearer and I to travel to Ikoka to seek some help for the palace. We shall be back in three days. <laughs> Take that one, and that one is simple. Uh, Do you people like the song? Yes. yes. Okay. Before we sing another song, Baba promised to tell us his story today. Yes. Who are calling to tell us his story? For sure, it's okay. Baba. <laughs> Just wait until I get married to you. Then you will know how much more I can still do for you. You have already done enough. Oh, all, all I have done it is to the reach of my, of my convenience. It is only when I'm out of it that I would know that I've made you a sacrifice. That is how to show love. What is love? Love. <laughs> my dear. Love is a de displayed kindness and willingness to make a sacrifice. The type I am willing to do for you. Just go to my parents and pay my bright price. That is how to secure the loyalty of a wife in her kingdom. Look, I will do that in due course. But let us, let us enjoy this love that we share. Love is intoxicating, but loyalty is solemn. This is the virtue of a wife. But our culture does not permit me to give you more. But I ask for nothing more. I own you already. Not without your bright prize on my head. It is the right of my father to decide the man of my life. Are you not a Bini man? Of course I am. All I am asking for is, is for you to spend some time with me in the privacy of my room. After that, of course, I will pay your bride's price. And, and believe me, I, I love you. <sighs> the pride of a young woman is in her virginity. I cannot lose that to you on account of love. I owe it to my husband. Come. Let's get out of here. Oh, good day. Come. Good day. Oh. Let's go. Come. Dada.
my lord. just heard. What have you done? What is happening? I have come to explain to you that I can no longer see you. So is true. Your parents befriended you to the king? It is their right to do so. After all I have done? No Binima can love your mother on his own. Ingratitude? No. It is a display of love. Because he is the king? Because he was man enough to pay my bride price. How much? 24 cowries? That is the much you could not pay. Is that all the king is what? Where was the king when your parents needed to be excavated from the shackles of poverty? Where was the king? Was he blind? I will not have you speak ill of my husband. Then let me speak ill of your ungrateful parents. My parents appreciate you. They waited for two good years for you to do what is customary. But you were blinded by love that you could not see loyalty. Easy, I say. My parents and I respect your good nature. Marriage is not just all about love and kindness, but it is predicated on commitment and loyalty. Oh. Ah. Yes, sir. Farewell. This will be the last time you will touch me. Tonight, I will be escorted to my husband's house as custom demands. As soon as my feet are washed at the entrance of his house, I shall belong there forever. He has secured my loyalty and endless love. To him, I will give the pleasure of my body and the loyalty of my life to have and to hold till death to us back. So help me God. The king shall pay for this. He will pay. If I cannot have her, no one else would. This is the promise of my love for her. Thank you. 
My queen. Yes, my lord. What is it? <sighs> your mood scares the children, my lord. Tell me, what troubles your mind? Oh. The rainbow is about to shed one of its colors. That all seem well. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Somewhere in the far east, a great star is about to descend. Hmm. Hope this will not cause you to move. On the contrary, it will fill my heart with joy and promote me in the kingdom. Hmm. You mean promote our place? This descending star will avenge my past and prosper our future. Better. Then come and celebrate the children and enjoy your smooth. You go and be with the children. The eyes of the owl can never be wide enough until its victim lies still. You may go, you may go. I like my husband. <laughs> Great chiefs of our kingdom! Great chiefs of our kingdom! We are saying, attack me! Yes, attack me! What is the meaning of all this? Why don't we listen to each other as we reason together? Why must we behave like children? Don't you see the Esopan here? How calm he is? Please, great chiefs. Please. Yes, sir. 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 If you are afraid of Okavi Ube, I am not. Who invited this drunk to this meeting? Why won't you call me a drunk? I say, why won't you call me a drunk? I do not. Is it wrong to say that we should pay homage to our king? There shall be no homage. That is because you don't even have any to pay. Do I owe him? I don't know. Never, sir. Esson, the king conferred on you the shifting city title of Esson. And you, Esson, looking like a moron. Obey Wakbe conferred on you the title of the Esogman of Benin Kingdom. Now, for three months running, you have listened to the Yase who directed that no one should pay homage to the Oba. The ghost will certainly. You stop talking this nonsense. If you have nothing else to say, you better keep quiet. Yase, I talk my head. I Yes, sir. You should also keep your mouth shut! Did did you people hear him? Imagine. Did you hear him? Is our king your equal? How dare you challenge the lion of the desert? Where lies your strength? Remember that no one argues with the other. No one betrays his majesty. No one, living or dead, in this land or far away from this land, rebels against the other. 
What is going you? on? Yes, I have not finished with you. What is boiling you up like a mad goat? Ah! 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 What, what is boiling you? Ah! Upon that you, 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 you dare to rebel against the pride of our land. You talk to me with such rudeness. See who's talking? Myself? You, yes sir. Your reason for rebelling against or by Wakbe is that the man has become an autocrat. As you allege. Mm -hmm. yes. Now, barely three months, barely three months of leading a rebellion, you have become a dictator. I'm disappointed in you. Here, yeah, sir. Chiefs, we are the elders of the land. That's true. Yes. Should we imagine for one moment that the other strategy is to turn us against one another? We'll be doomed before we start. Okavi Ogbe has some root truth in his rudeness. I'm inclined to take his truth. And disregard the rudeness. If we must succeed, Iyasem must be democratic in his approach to leading this revolt. Now someone has chosen to be reasonable. Democracy has been the hallmark of the governance of Benin Kingdom. Our kingdom indeed has enjoyed democracy since after the reign of Ogiso Aigo, of the Ogiso dynasty. Who is this here, sir? To, to take us uh, to, to the dark days of tyranny again. Who is here, sir? Okay, my people, it would only take time. It would only take time. But a stammerer will ultimately call his father's name. Did you hear him? Let him go. Yes, sir. Let him go. Yes, sir. It's a head After all, it's only a drop. <laughs> 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 What brings you to this other side of life? The dove do not fly alone. What is chasing you? Or should I ask, what is it that you seek? The eyes of the gods on earth. I came to seek help for my husband. Those the gods have chosen, the gods protect. The destiny of your husband is in his hands. The gods do not consult my prosy. Uneasy lies the head that wears the crown. My husband needs a word with the gods. My child. It is in chaotic times that the chosen ones are known. Your step of faith is favored. Otherwise, the gods do not vacate its domain. In that case, could you come to the palace by tomorrow when he will be back from his journey? Go home at once and pray for his safe return. By tomorrow, the night and the day shall converge in his courtyard of justice. God bless the king. Amen. Thank you.
land of my late mother of blessed memory. I bring you good tidings. You must have heard of the mutiny in my palace for the last six months. How can we be aware? Did you send words to us? And what is good about the tidings of mutiny that you brought of their way? How can you interrupt our guests so rudely? Ah, uh, please, Abai Wakbe, we are listening. Thank you, Owe. As I was saying, I was alone in the palace with my dear wife Ide and my sword bearer who has accompanied me here. 
your son, the pride of Ikoka, was prevented from getting any service during this period. <coughs> he has had to face starvation and misery. So I have come to Ikoka, the land my mother, Ewe Bonoza, loved so much for some help for the palace. Elders of Ikoka. Where are you Here is one of our own asking us for help. You will recall that he is the son of our late daughter, Ewe Bonoza, mm -hmm. who has brought so much glory to our land. Life is a paradox. And like a pendulum, his request is now before you for consideration. Hey. What did you say? Huh? Never! I say never! There is nothing to consider in this man's request. He never buried his mother for us. It was here at Ikoka we mourned at our daughter. Yes, you are right. Gallant men of Ikoka were sent to Benin to help carry out the funeral rites. Only I, Oyegwe, came back alive. The others did not just die, they were murdered by this man sitting before us today, seeking help. Except he is able to bring back the dead from the bosom of Osanobwa, away this man must live now or die by the hands of I, Oyegwe. The man who slept with the serpents to get to Ikoka. He must live now or face death in my hands. Away, oh, what insolence is this? Now. I sympathize with you, Obaye Wakbe. Our son here, Oyegwe, has spoken very well, even though in anger. You don't beat a child and forbid him to cry. Ewakbe, you were most unfair to us concerning our sons that you executed. We are members of your mother's family and cannot be deprived of our rights to her burial as you did. As long as you have not performed her funeral rites, tradition does not permit us to regard you as an elder of this town. It simply follows that Ikoka cannot serve you. Yes. Well said. As a youth, which you are, by the circumstances of your failure, to perform your mother's right for Ikoka. It is your place to serve this land. Tradition is the way a people behave repeatedly in a given circumstance. Why culture is aware of life of a people. What I have just explained to you is our tradition and our way of life. You know. I have spoken. <clears throat>
Elder Sophie Koka. We are talking. You have spoken well. But when a child is, he is cautioned with the cane on the right hand while the left comforts him. You will recall that this is our own son, Obai Wakbe, who killed, murdered, I mean, executed some of our own. We demand only that they be returned back to us alive. Exactly. Secondly, before the sons and daughters of this land can serve you, Ikoka demands that you first become an elder in the land. Even you can only achieve this by joining the youth in community work in the areas of uh, road clearing, mm -hmm. uh, well digging, and uh, roof mending. Ekoka, uh, are these not what you demand? Yes. We are talking. Yes, sir. Elders of Ikoka, why do you insult me so callously? Why do you ask me? to pick up tools, to join the youth in communal work. How could you but forget with so much convenience the love and compassion that the palace of Ewakwe favored you with because of my mother, Ewe Bonaza. Ikoka. Ikoka. You dared to touch the tail of a raven lion! Today is the spiritual day set aside by the gods for judgment upon this land. Therefore, I call our gods, our ancestors, our forebearers, our forerunners, princes and princesses, the many deities of the black race, day and night, the many spiritual voices and echoes in our kingdom to bear me witness that I was born a king and not a commoner. Ha! But Ikoka chose to insult me as one. For as long as the sun shines and darkness precedes the dawn of the day, Ikoka shall labor in vain. She shall, he shall be denied the ability to provide. As you mend your roads, so shall the weeds multiply. As you cleanse your wells, so, the, so shall the sand of the earth fill it. As you mend your roofs, oh, so often 
shall you confront leakages? Oh! Oh! Ikoka. Ikoka could not even offer me food or drink. Me! Me! Forever shall you thirst and hunger. Ikoka! Ah! Ikoka! Oh! As the crowned king of the great ancient kingdom of Benin, I evoke my vested power of divinity and decree that never, never shall you have a man of prominence on this land. Of course, I exempt the women because of my beloved mother, Ewe Bonoza, who might be born to this land in her next life. And as for the Benis, who made room for such callous insult? Never, never again shall they be united in evil conspiracy. Sugie, <laughs> Sugie. Never, never shall a man of prominence emerge from this land. This is forbidden fruit, a callous insult. Ikoka, Ikoka. Ikoka! Ikoka! As I have petitioned, so shall it be. From generation to generation, even unto the end of time. Ikoka! 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 Hey, that's a far province. I'm scared. The cause of Anoba is a burden on the people. Now planted, this cause must not be allowed to germinate. I think we should ask for his forgiveness. I see some wisdom in Amadi's words. That is wisdom limited in scope. What is there to be scared of? What cause has he laid that could become a burden? That we will continue to clear our rows of wheat, our well of drain, our roof of leakages. Tell me, is that a curse? That has been the order even before he Ewakwe was born. Besides, he decreed that never again shall a man of substance emerge from Ikoka, but exempt the women. 
These are our wives, our mothers, and our children. Tell me, what is wrong in a man spotting a snake and a woman killing it? <laughs> Is it not for the snake to die? Yes. 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 I ask you, is that a cause? No. No. Let, Let him go. go. Let him go to his misery in Benin. I, Oyegwe, left his palace for Ikoka. I am facing my misery. Let him go and face his. So shall it be from generation to generation, even unto the end of time. Ikoka! Ikoka! 